tuned. Judgment Day, next. It's E3 2004. It is the 10th anniversary of E3. That's right. Here, hold this. What? Where are you going? I'm going to go see the show. All right, what? You're just leaving me here. I'm going too. Okay, we're gonna get this party started off with a bang. We're standing in front of the Xbox booth because we're gonna talk about all of the stuff that's available for the Xbox this year. And before we get started, yes. this is the 10 year anniversary of E3. That's true. Which is awesome. It's also the 10 year anniversary of Tommy and I meeting. That's right. So I wanted to wish you a congratulations, man. 10 and, years, do you have a present for me? Um, I, I do, we get to talk about all of the games at E3 this year. Oh. All right, well let's talk about the Xbox. What did you like on the Xbox? It's all about Xbox Live this year around. Prince of Persia 2 wow. looks phenomenal. Wow. Some of the lighting effects. You can actually chop guys, slice them right in half this year around. Speaking of Ubisoft, Far Cry Instincts. Awesome looking Great game. game on the PC. And now it's coming got, to the console. They've got Ghost Recon 2, which they put in Unreal sort of engine stuff into, so it looks right. a little closer to Rainbow Six. And Rainbow Six 3, Black Arrow, an expansion pack. They keep going like this. E3 is going to be like. It's just going to be Ubisoft. Right, well, be them and EA. Yeah. That's the big news. All right. All of their sports games on Xbox Live. I was interviewing somebody, and they said that it was actually the gamers' voices out there that made them make the decision to put EA's games on Xbox Live. The spotlight's definitely on EA, and it's not just the sports games. They've also got Battlefield Modern Combat, which is an update to Battlefield 1942, which looks beautiful. Right. They've got the GoldenEye Rogue Agent game. Golden Xbox Eye Rogue Live. Agent. What about uh, StarCraft Ghost? Yes. On the Xbox. Yeah. Beautiful. It's looking great. Lizard. Fable. I think I'm really going to love Fable. I was sitting, yes, I was playing beautiful. Fable. Absolutely. I think that's the most exciting RPG, I think, to come out. Did you play Jade Empire, though? Insane. You have all these, you have 30 different martial arts styles in the game. Right. So you get into the combat. You want to talk about online? You want to talk about Xbox Live? Let's talk about Rocky Legends. Right. You can oh, fight boy, online Rocky. now, man. And it's all about... Tron! Like that's Tron right. online. Tron! Don't 2. scare people 0. like that, man. That's Killer great. app! Well, let's hit on some more of the first party games from Microsoft, because they've got some real stunners. Of course, everybody's talking about Halo 2. It's not playable on the show floor. I saw it at the press conference. They showed some multiplayer gaming. Unbelievable. Beautiful looking game. November 9th, it comes out. Unreal Championship 2. Unreal Championship 2. Looks amazing, too. Sounds amazing. First and third person in Unreal Championship 2. I love Advent Rising. I yes. thought it was unbelievable. Very slick. Very cinematic. Very awesome storyline. There's also Men of Valor, which is a Vietnam fighting game. Very gritty. Lots of blood flying everywhere. Shell Shock Nam 67. Love the new Star Wars first-person shooters. We have two different kinds. Republic Commando is kind of like a Rainbow Six style squad base right. tactical combat game. And then I think one of the games, probably in my top five that I'm most excited about at E3, Star Wars Battlefront. This game is what I've been waiting for since 1997. It's basically Battlefield 1942 in the Star Wars universe. Incredible graphics it's from Pandemic, who've been kicking ass. They just did Full Spectrum Warrior. Full Spectrum Warrior looks Amazing. unbelievable for THQ. Doom 3. We haven't talked about the lighting and the shading and the fog effects. Doom, Doom 3, 3 is incredible. It's, it's all it's, about the lighting. It looks like a movie. Great year all around for the Xbox. I, I was surprised that there weren't that many first party games, but it more than made up for third party. I mean, even Sp like Spider-Man 2 from Activision. Spider-Man 2. I didn't even Ooh. talk about Spider-Man. That's, That's how crazy it is. Game. But there was nothing that like every single person was talking about. Right. But overall, an amazing showing. Their yeah. best showing yet. I'm giving the Xbox booth an 8.5. I'm going to give it a 9. I got to say that I, I kind of agree with you. But a ton of games that I really want to play are coming out on the Xbox. It's That's getting right. a 9 from me. So there you go. Another very impressive showing from Microsoft. If on you the guys, Xbox. if there are people out there who have an Xbox and who aren't on Xbox Live yet, you better Listen, sign up here. now. You Absolutely. gotta sign up now. It's Absolutely. unbelievable. Lots of great titles for Xbox. When we come back, though, we're gonna be talking about Nintendo, and of course, they've got some very interesting things to talk about. Stick around. We'll be right back.
Introducing the new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited with the Sunrider soft top. With more passenger room and twice the cargo space, you'll be able to bring so much stuff that you're bound to forget something. Hey, what's up? We got everything, right? Yeah, we got everything. Why? Thanks. Trail rated capability, only in a Jeep 4x4. I believe there's a hero in all of us. Wednesday, rated PG-13. XM Satellite Radio. Over 100 digital channels you'll never want to be without. With 100% commercial free music plus news, sports, and talk for under $10 a month. XM Satellite Radio. Evening, ladies and guys. Come witness a stunt that will truly amaze and mystify. Step right up. I need a mother with a child. Anyone, you, please, a round of applause. Abra! Kazabra! Now, let's bring her back. Zim, Zala Zim! Pajama, pajama! Where's your mama? Well, you're not alone, kid. Tobacco products make more than 12,000 mothers disappear every year. Welcome to Crazy World. New juicy fruit grape or melon? Cool. Ah! Wait, what are you doing, man? Mine, mine, mine. Sweet. Jack is in. Oh. Gotta have twisted sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have the twisted fruit combinations of new juicy fruit grape or melon and strapple berry. Tech TV and G4 have come together. And you can get in on the action with G4 Tech TV's digital dig sweepstakes. You could be the winner of a $100,000 tech over for your home. From bedroom to living room, the G4 Tech TV experts will tech out your home. It's G4 Tech TV's digital dig sweepstakes starting June 14th. For more info, log on to G4TechTV.com slash digital digs. All right, we're back. We just came out of the Nintendo booth, and we're about to get down to it because we have so much stuff to talk about with Nintendo. They've got everything coming out this year. All right, All right well, let's start with the GameCube. What did you think of the stuff on the GameCube? Well, you know, I mean, it's to me, it's you know, it's the same old, same old. They have a they have a couple of really cool new titles. They got Geist, which looks kind of neat. Geist, I would agree with you. Looks Geist very is cool. Geist is great. You can you can possess other people. Yeah. You can even play a dog. I like that one very much. I think my much. favorite game in the whole Nintendo area was Resident Evil 4. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing graphics. Yes. They finally are starting to get the controls right. You yes. know, I saw a toilet paper Mario 2. Right. You know, pa paper I, Mario 2. Oh. There's no toilet in that title. I saw Donkey Kong Bongo. That would be Donkey Konga. Donkey right. Konga. And there's Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. So they, you have two games that take advantage of the new drum peripheral that Nintendo's putting out for the Cube. The GameCube game of the show definitely is Metroid Prime Echoes. That game looks phenomenal. It's got the multiplayer action in there. Another cool GameCube game that I'm looking forward to is the Zelda. The next Zelda is going to look like the Zelda that we wanted a few years ago. No more cell shading. And Four Swords, this is the game that best illustrates why Nintendo was excited about connectivity. You can hook up four Game Boy Advances and you can play together. Very, very fun. But if they're very so cool interested looking. in connectivity, why not give us online games alone? Well, I, you know, what I find is kind of strange is that they've done that in the DS, but they're, they're definitely not going for online on the GameCube. Let's move on then from the GameCube stuff yes. to the Game Boy Advance, which, in my opinion, 
had a more interesting showing than the GameCube, so. Now I'm a huge Mario Party freak. Yes. And we got Mario Party on the Game Boy Advance. We sure do. I, I love that. Now Mario's gonna be in all kinds of games. We've got Mario Pinball. They've also got Mario Golf, which looks fantastic. But they definitely the Game Boy Advance game that I am most excited about. It's the new Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. It has the Wind Waker Zelda art style in the game, and it looks like it's gonna be so much fun. We love it's, Zelda and the Windbreaker. We love Zelda, and I love Zelda. There's also a very interesting thing that they're packing in with the new Pokemon games now. We've got a, a wireless connector, so people that play Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, they can uh, communicate wirelessly on their GBAs now, which is kind of cool. You know, I think the GBA had a very cool showing. I, I would Wolf. say I, I thought it had a better showing than the GameCube. Would you agree with I, that? I, I would agree. You I would, would agree with that. I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of the Game Boy Advance games, definitely. Now, speaking of portable systems, we got to talk about the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS. Two screens, the new portable. I got to say that this isn't the finished version, but right now the buttons are way too small. Right. It's very thick. I want to get your opinion, but to me, the PSP blows it out of the water. Well, here's here's my thoughts on the DS. It was the big mystery coming into the show. Nobody knew what Nintendo was up to, and they they've definitely come out with something that's very very innovative. I love the touchscreen applications. Yeah, you have a you have a touchscreen, and uh, it's going to come with a, a stylus. Yeah, I mean, there there's was a game wireless. In there. There's wireless networking, Wi-Fi, and a sort of a Bluetooth derivative, so you can be in closer proximity or over the internet and play games. And thank God they have a headphone jack, which is always they nice do. to see. But then they, with the touchscreen, you can do cool things. Like there was a game where you could you could draw Pac-Man, and he would chase after the ghost. That was part of the game. So you had to draw Pac-Man as quickly as you could to capture all the things. My my concern is this: is that the games that they were showing in there? Yeah. I personally. As a gamer, I, would, your style I, game. I wouldn't buy any of them. But I mean, Metroid, they had Metroid Prime on the there. Metroid Hunters. R running very a little cool. slow. No, I thought it was great. And, and what was different about that game, too, is that you controlled all of the, the uh, weaponry with the stylus. You look around with the stylus and you tap the button on the enemies to kill them. But I don't, cool. I don't think that game is really going to... Not that one game, no. One, one game isn't going to do it because, they, you know... They, they had some other cool ones, though. Well, there's had, the Mario. Yeah, Super Mario 64 times 4. It's a four-player game set in the Mario 64 world right. with all the different Mario characters. I'm going to wait to see... What the other titles if are. There's other, because i got to be honest with you, PSP, I don't care how much it is i'm gonna buy that thing yeah not everybody's that's awesome. got your credit card though awesome. that's that's the deal but though. if but if somebody has to make a decision between which one to get it, it, how can you tell them not to wait for the psp i know i i mean uh, i gotta say i enjoyed the psp stuff a little bit more i like yeah. what they were showing a little bit more than the ds yeah i mean we just don't know what's coming out yet so right. i'm excited i have faith in nintendo especially in the handheld department i know that they re recognize the threat that sony is putting on there if you had to score the nintendo booth and what you're seeing from nintendo this year and for nintendo what would you give it i'd give it a 5.5 .5. wow man you are really disappointed well Hey, That's a very low score. Compared to Sony and Xbox and the PC stuff. Uh, well, I'll tell you this. I am not as excited about the software that, that Nintendo is showing. So, I, I want to play more of the games on the Xbox and the PlayStation 2. But I think the DS is a cool showing. Very impressed with the GBA. And there are definitely some cool GameCube games that I want to play. 7.5 out of 10. So we're done with Nintendo. But don't worry. There's lots more show to come when we come back. We're talking about PC games. The legend grows. The new, longer Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, with more legroom, twice the cargo space, and trail-rated capability. Only in a Jeep 4x4. College is in our immediate future, only not the same one. Florida, Texas, Ivy League. All three of us in college, at the, at the same, same time, time, we need a way to keep in touch. That, that won't cost us a lot. With Singular Family Talk, count on the largest talk for free coverage area in America. Plus, get rollover. And for a limited time, it's just $9.99 a line. We call it our more, more money, money for, for books. books. Yeah, right. Books. Plan. Plan. $9.99 a line. Another reason Singular fits you best. Long gold. 
l'Italia, l'Italia se desta. Two sides, one goal. Buried Treasure is brought to you by EB Games. We take games seriously. I found a classic game that I want to talk about today in Buried Treasure. This is Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. Now I know what you're saying, every Metal Gear game is super successful and this doesn't really qualify as a Buried Treasure, but I, I did mention that it's for the Game Boy Color, didn't I? And nobody has that system anymore. But what's great about this thing is that it really pulled in a lot of the details that you're seeing in all of the Metal Gear games out there. You're still talking on your, uh, your communicator with all the same codecs to Campbell and Mai Ling and all of the sort of cast of supporting characters that are part of Metal Gear. There's 180 VR missions on this cartridge, so you can actually test out some of the play mechanics of the game. And the levels in the game actually take into account all the stealthy, sneaky spy action that we love in Metal Gear. And of course, everybody's talking about Metal Gear now because we've got the Twin Snakes on the Cube and we've got Metal Gear Solid 3 coming for the PlayStation 2. So it's a perfect time to go and find the Game Boy Color version of Metal Gear Solid. This is a great game for your Game Boy Color or your Game Boy Advance. Go check it out, Metal Gear Solid. All right, we're back. We're going to start talking about all of the PC games that we're seeing here at E3 2004. What did you think of the PC showing, man? I got to say, last year at E3, we were kind of a little disappointed because there was no innovation. Really. Yes, yeah. It was all the same RTSs, RPGs, and first-person shooters. This year, I got to say, big turnaround. Right. And we're seeing a lot of cool, innovative games on the PC. I think this is the best year in a long time for the PC. Well, uh, yeah, I think so too. And I think the two games that really sort of come to the forefront when you're thinking of what's happening in the PC world this year, Half-Life 2 and Doom 3 are finally going to be available. I'm talking about innovative, though, innovation, innovative games like the movies. Amazing uh, game. Peter Molyneux's game for the PC. Amazing. You create a movie within the game. It's unbelievable. You can upload the movie that you create. And other people can watch it. Uh, incredible stuff there. NCSoft has got the uh, the Guild Wars, which is one of the first free uh, massively multiplayer games out there. Give you a little taste of that uh, role-playing experience, that Diablo type of experience. Lineage 2. The charge. Lineage 2. Lineage 2. Another one. The City of Heroes is already up, but City of Villains was on the show floor. World of Warcraft. That has got to be one of the sweetest looking massively multiplayer games I've ever seen. Also love the expansion to Star Wars Galaxies, the jump to light speed. Now we can fly around in spaceships. You can pilot things like the Millennium Falcon and have people inside the ship and people mounting the turrets and stuff like that. That is going to be awesome, man. Getting your own Star Wars ships. There's even some third person games as well, like Advent Rising. Yes. It's a really cool looking cinematic game experience for the PC. You got The Matrix Online. Matrix Online, another massively multiplayer. Oddly enough, being done by Sega. Yes, How published by happen? Sega, by developed Sega. by Monolith. Totally different for a massively multiplayer game. The Sims 2. That's right. Which looks really incredible. EverQuest 2. I just saw the characters jumping into the water. That looks incredible. Lots of sweet lighting effects in that game. I mean, these massively multiplayer games, you never think of them as, as looking so good, but now they're just looking insane. I mean, they've got some beautiful artwork in them. They announced Splinter Cell 3. I know. It's like Splinter Cell 2 just came uh, out. Well, I couldn't believe how quickly Pandora Tomorrow came out from the previous Splinter That's Cell. That's right. The EA stuff had a new Lord of the Rings game, which yes. was like an RTS kind of thing. Yes, not the Battle my, for Middle Earth. Not my cup of tea. That but, looks incredible. But also, they were also showing Medal of Honor Pacific Assault, yes, which nice is going to give Call of Duty to run for its money with the AI is absolutely incredible, completely unique every time you play the game. How about Shell Shock Nam 67? Yeah, that's going to be oh, killing. Like IDOS looks amazing. That's going to be really cool. If we're getting into the shooter department, you can't ignore Stalker, which basically came out of nowhere. It's being published by THQ, and that game looks sensational, man. It's really, really nice. A very close competitor to what's being offered in Half Life 2 and Far Cry and Doom 3. Stalker looks sick. I thought Mist 4 looked extremely beautiful. 
I know that's not your style. Not of my game, style at all. But no. I think people are really going to freak out over Mist Four. Peter Gabriel, Jack Wall doing the music. That's right. Unbelievable. But check this out. Playboy, the oh, mansion. I knew game. you were gonna like that, that one. That is awesome. You go around. <laughs> is that your new Tron this you year? You go around. Playboy. <laughs> it is. I knew it. Playboy. I knew it would be. Talking about real-time strategy games, it was cool to see Ground Control 2. Dude, I'm surprised you haven't mentioned Dungeon Siege 2. Great game from Microsoft. Damn. Totally cool game. I think the console still won the attention. I agree. But this was a very fun year for playing PC games. 2004 is going to be great if you're a PC owner. I'm giving it. 8 out of 10. Exactly what I give it. We finally agreed on one. All right. An 8 out of 10. Sweet. Well, stick around. We're coming right back with a look at the PlayStation 2 games coming out this year. The greatest commanders don't just deliver their men to victory. They deliver them home. Full Spectrum Warrior, rated mature, played on Xbox Live. Table one five. This is Bobcat three six from Weapon Enemy Camp. Orders to impact as follows. Three Echo Hotel. Over. Overwatch of one. This is all two invitation. Over. What are your dreams? Do they include playing video games? Or making video games? Or both? Stop dreaming. Pick up the phone, call Collins College, and start a career doing what you love in the new game design program. Call 1-888-256-1200 now. That's 1-888-256-1200. G4 TV for gamers and Tech TV are connecting to form G4 Tech TV. Stay connected. For more information, go to G4TechTV.com. G4 Tech TV is giving away a $100,000 home tech makeover. Brought to you by Circuit City and Yahoo. For the next two weeks, G4 Tech TV is collecting entries. Watch every night from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern, now through the 27th, and look for the sweepstakes commercials because they contain secret codes. Every time you see a code, go to the website and enter. And remember, for all the news in the world of games, make sure to watch what you play right here on Pulse. G4 TV for gamers and Tech TV are contesting. To form the only network taking digital entertainment to the next level. Sound fun? I love video games. Plugged in to every aspect of games, gear, gadgets, and gigabytes. That was unexpected, right? Okay. Uh, you're watching G4 Tech TV. G4 Tech TV. Stay connected. For more information, go to G4TechTV.com. All right, we're back. We're here at the PlayStation booth, and man, is Sony having a huge year this year. I mean, once again, Sony shows why they're so dominant in the industry, why they are the top in the world. This is the best booth here at the show, hands down, Gran Turismo 4. All right. The best looking driving game we've ever seen. What about Burnout 3? Burnout 3 is on incredible. On the PlayStation 2. I mean, it's, it's Hollywood. So beautiful. It's Hollywood filmmakers getting together with video game makers to create all these amazing crashes incredible. and everything. Incredible. And now Need for Speed Underground 2 is there. So if you're a racing fanatic that has a PlayStation 2, not only are you going to get incredible games, you're going to be able to play them online. Final Fantasy 12. Very, exclusive very Exclusive to the PlayStation game. 2. Developed by the guys that did the Final Fantasy Tactics series. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. You want to eat my snake? You can do it now. <laughs> How about God of War? Looks great. Another exclusive game. Next this year. looks like an Xbox game. Coming out sweet looking That's game. the thing. Is it all the PlayStation the 2 games? Sequel. To Mark Cree. Cree. Rise of Kasai. Right. Sweet looking game. Rao is back. He's killing people. He still looks like a little cute cartoon, but he's vicious. How about this? Awesome. Sly Cooper? Yeah. We got Sly 2, and it looks unbelievable. Yes. And we're talking action platformer style games. You can't forget Jack 3, which oh is my incredible God. now. They've added more vehicles. Tons of, you can get on monsters and ride them around the city. You've got online in Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, and they named it for Tommy Tallarico. They did. They did. It's a, it's a very cool game. It's, but it's online. It's a single player, and you get an online thing, so you've got cute cartoon creatures kicking the living 
shit out of each other. It's you can't real, say that. I, I, did I say that? Rumble Roses, yes. which is an all-girl hot chick fighting Wrestling game. game. I know. G-strings, bouncing boobies, tons of eye toy support yes. this year. Harry Potter game from EA has the eye, eye toy I like support. I like the Sega Superstars. You're beating up on the zombies from House of the Dead and the Virtual Fighter dudes. That's right. I also dug uh, the anti-grab game, which is kind of like It's a, like a, a, a slip groove yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. I was also digging uh, Mortal Kombat Deception on the PlayStation 2. Great big fighters, lots of gore, exactly what you want. Now, in terms of shooters, we got some killer ones. Kill Zone. Kill Zone. From Guerrilla Games. They did the, the Nom Shell Shock 67. 25 really, really to Life, which is like Grand Theft Auto yes. from all, IDOS. That's actually, it felt a little bit more like SOCOM to me, but You're it's right. SOCOM in the hood kind of deal. Prince of Persia 2 on the PlayStation beautiful, 2. Beautiful. Incredible. You can slice guys in half now. The Incredibles looks amazing. The new Pixar Disney film. There are also some really great sequels to see again. Really big fan of ATV Off-Road Fury. That's Number right. three. Online. Voice, voice communication now, finally. That's going to be awesome. And also awesome to see the Getaway Black Monday. I, I really enjoyed the, uh, the ambition of the last game. Yeah, true. But this time they're sweetening everything up. The, the Hopefully controls the controls are better. better. And of course we have a brand new Grand Theft Auto game, San Andreas. So, you know, all in all, PlayStation 2 lineup is unbelievable. Well, here's the thing. We've talked about all the iToy support. Yeah. We've talked about all the exclusive games on the Sony. But, factor all that in and we have the announcement of the PSP. It is the most incredible handheld system it was, ever. It, it was very surprising to me because I was at the press conference and it looked larger when you saw it on the big screen. It is people, so cool looking. But it's tiny. Very, they got very clear. They, there's clear buttons on the yes. top. It looks so amazing. He has announced NFL Street, NBA Street. Need for Speed Underground 2. Gran Turismo 4. Twisted Metal's up and running right now. Yeah, we saw Metal Gear out. Solid up and running right now. We saw Wipeout on there. Very cool. So what do you give the whole Sony area then, my friend? Incredible showing for the PlayStation 2, but it was really about the PSP for me this year. Sony kicked ass again. 9.5. An incredible showing. I'm with you. Absolutely. 9.5 on the Sony area. So there it is, E3 2004 is all over and done. Thousands of people streaming out now. They've seen thousands of games. What did you think of the show overall? I gotta say that that Ubisoft booth was, to me, the best booth in there. One game you wanna play the most. I'd Splinter Cell 3, maybe Prince of Persia 2. But for me, the three greatest things in my life Spider-Man, Tron, and, and me. Rocky. Oh, Rocky. Best E3 ever. I know we say that every year. This was an incredible but E3. But this is the best three ever. The PSP is the most exciting thing about E3 2004 for me. Right. But I'm also very excited to play games like Half-Life 2. Very surprised by the, the quality of Pandemic's titles. Destroy All Humans looks incredible. I'll tell you what I think the most in incredible thing at the show was. Yes. The, the Unreal 3 right. engine technology. Yes. I can't wait for next year. Lots of great games to play until then. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. We'll see you next time. to choose which games win at this year's g the award show for gamers. Go to g4techtv.com slash g and decide who gets best game, character, soundtrack, and more. Press, vote, and make your voice heard. It's all part of g presented by EB Games and Jeep. Next.